Oh, wow. <laughs> all right. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Brady Turner, and I'd like to welcome you all to the commencement ceremony celebrating the Fairmont High School Class of 2023. Uh, I'd just like to start off today by thanking a couple of people that have mean a lot to me. I would not be up here speaking in front of all of you today if it were not for the amazing individuals that have helped me along the way. First off, I'd like to thank my mom and dad for constantly pushing me to be the best I can be, supporting me in everything I do, and providing me with all of the opportunities to succeed. I love you. I'd also like to thank all of my teachers whom I've had the privilege of sharing a classroom with, especially Mr. Mitter and Mr. McGarvey over these past two years. And a special thank you to Samuel Wade for tutoring me a couple of times as well. Uh, finally, I'd like to thank all of my friends for making these last four years the most memorable and fun years of my life. I love you all, and I'm going to miss not being to see you guys every day. I'd like to wish everybody good luck in their future endeavors, and I hope we all enjoy this last summer together. Thank you, and best of luck to the class of 2023. Pog. Uh, now please stand and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. Before I begin, I just wanted to take a brief moment to thank our amazing faculty and staff for not only educating us, but for also understanding our emotions with patience. Thank you loving mothers, fathers, and guardians for supporting us from the very beginning. Without your love, support, and hefty checkbooks, of course, we wouldn't be able to play our sports, participate in fine arts, band, or any other activity. And as for the class of 23, Give yourselves a round of applause for your hard work and dedication towards this accomplishment. I'm stealing the wise words of Mr. Rogers when I say, you've made this day a special day by just your being you. There's no person in the whole world like you, and I like you just the way you are. This may sound cliche, but something that I have learned from these past four years is to appreciate life. I know high school definitely had some stressful moments, moments that make us ask ourselves, why am I here? How am I important? Or how can I bring value? However, through all the trials and tribulations, I have come to appreciate all chapters of life, the good and the bad. I have this appreciation because I understand how lucky I am to be a part of this world, this community, and more specifically, this class. Did you know that the chances of us being born are 1 in 10 to 2 million 685,000th power? That's basically zero. 
We have a better chance of being struck by lightning over 100 times than being here right now. Getting a chance to play in this game of life is a blessing that we should all be beyond thankful for. A little less than a year ago today, there was a video that was released from the Duke's women's basketball program that really stuck with me. The video was a small pep talk from head coach Kara Lawson. Coach Lawson told her team, in life, we wait for stuff to get easier. It's what we do. It will never get easier. What happens is we handle hard better. You see, oftentimes we wait for things to get easier. I just got to get through this heartbreak and love will be easier. Or, oh, I just got to get through junior year and my classes will start to get easier. Or I just got to get through preseason, my season will be a breeze. However, that's not true. It doesn't get easier. We have to become people who handle hard better. Since the beginning, we have faced and overcome challenges, from walking our very first steps as a child, to getting our first job, from paying our first bill, to buying our first home, and even later, having a wonderful, loving family. These are some of the many life goals, but it is important to recognize that it has never been and will never be easy. But we can and will handle it, because it's only hard from here on out. Dreams aren't handed to us on a silver platter. If we want to become the person we envision, then we must do something we've never done. And it will be hard. We will have setback, we will experience loss, and we will fail. And that's okay. People think there's some magic secret to living life, but there's not. Life is hard. In order to succeed, we must fail again and again and again before reaching our true potential. And that's beautiful. I'd like to point out the fact that across the country, there are over three million other high school seniors, just like us, graduating now or in the coming weeks. I know that the class of 23 will do hard but great things in this world. Issues of importance such as climate change, rural and diseases, and poverty can be conquered by the hard work of the people in this room, in these chairs. After all, our alma mater played after every football game. Along those notes are lyrics which say, silver, white and blue, resolute and true. Hard work requires resolve, and that is who we are as Firebirds class of 2023. And here we are, all the late nights studying for tests, the friendships we've made, the love we've experienced, and the failures we've learned from have led us all here in this moment. Tonight is a time to celebrate our accomplishments and be excited about all that the future holds for us. And with that being said, Firebird Nation, let's fly.
Good evening. My name is Bella Roberts, and I must say that it is my absolute honor to speak on behalf of the class of 2023 tonight. I would be lying if I said that I hadn't previously envisioned myself standing before you tonight, or if I claimed that I hadn't recited the speech countless times in my room. This is not out of character for me, though. I must admit that I enjoy planning out aspects of my life and controlling my circumstances as much as I can. I'm very schedule-oriented. I love routine. For me, one way that I can manage stress is by maintaining control over my environment. In fact, this is true for all humans. In my psychology class this year, shout out to Mr. Silverman, we have discussed how research indicates that the more control we have over a situation, the less stress we experience. I want to further explore this topic, but first, I'd like to share a quick anecdote. During June of 2021, I had the wonderful opportunity to work as a camp counselor at a Girl Scout camp that I had attended when I was younger. I was so excited to get started on the job that I planned out the first week in my head, creating an idyllic image of how it would go. Roasting marshmallows around the campfire, splashing around in the pool to escape the summer heat, and helping campers tie-dye t-shirts. The first few days on the job went great, but on the fourth day, as I was taking my campers down to the pool house, I became cognizant of an irritating burning rash on my arms. After inspecting them for a few moments, I then discovered this same rash all over my legs as well. So in true camp counselor fashion, I pulled out my walkie-talkie, and I radioed the camp director with my concerns. She ordered me to head up to the camp office immediately so she could check it out. I wasn't very happy with this directive, having to leave my campers, and as I headed into the camp office, all I could think about was how my plan was being ruined. I should have been spending time with my new campers. I should have been learning their favorite movies or ice cream flavors and, of course, making friendship bracelets with them. This new situation, one that involved Benadryl and calamine lotion and showering with dish soap, it was never a part of my meticulously crafted plan. I quickly realized that I had no control over the situation that had befallen me, and I was growing more and more frustrated by the minute. As the camp director was searching for extra bottles of calamine lotion, I glanced up at the wall, and I fixated on a blue poster. In bold, bright letters, it read, Embrace the Madness. It was at this moment that I had an epiphany. Yes, in the unair conditioned sticky camp office, covered in pink goo, itching from head to toe, I had an epiphany. Maybe, sometimes the only thing we can do is embrace the madness. Maybe, instead of trying to control every single circumstance within our lives, we step back and just go with what life gives us. At that moment, I knew I needed to retrain my brain to better accept unexpected changes within my life. As I previously mentioned, research has shown that humans feel less stressed when they can control their situation. So naturally, we love to control as much as we can. The hard truth is that we simply can't control everything in our lives because, ironically enough, Changes are only constant, and it often comes suddenly or unexpectedly. This topic, of course, is incredibly pertinent now. We're beginning a new chapter where we find ourselves faced with a lot of change. Some of this change might be within your control, but there will inevitably be change that is out of your control. As we enter into this new phase, it is essential that we control what we can, and for the rest, we embrace the madness. Some of you might be wondering who your roommate will be. Embrace the madness. Some of you might be wondering how you're going to get a job. Embrace the madness. And parents, some of you might be wondering how you're going to get out of the parking lot tonight. <laughs> and to that I have to say, embrace the madness. It is entirely plausible that a year from now, your life will look completely different than how you envisioned it in this moment. And that's all right. What truly matters is how you reacted when faced with change along the way.
perhaps you'll find that embracing the madness will lead you to peace and understanding that you would have never imagined. Thank you.
And I would just like to start by saying thank you to our teachers and administrations and the beautiful support system surrounding us today. Thank you for being here and for helping us get to this moment. Most importantly, I would like to congratulate my fellow graduates of the class of 2023. We made it. Now this whole speech thing wasn't very easy to come up with, probably one of the hardest things I had to think about this year. I will tell you, I'm not going to stand up here and talk about the cliche of follow your dreams or tell you to shoot for the stars, because honestly, that could take you eight to 10 years to even legally do, sorry. But I will tell you this, respect your process. Let's break this down. There's approximately eight billion people on Earth, and if you didn't already know, there's only one you. That means there are eight billion lives being lived, eight billion stories being told, yet none quite like yours. When you take a step back and look at those numbers, your brain may go one of two ways. Dang, that's a lot of people. Or yeah, but so many are already doing way better than I could ever be. Let's pause that right there. The definition of process reads, a series of events or steps taken in order to come or achieve a particular end. I've been here four years and let me tell you, it's been a process. Those late nights of homework or games, finishing that senior essay, the struggle of self-love and looking a little different than others, the idea that this is our last year of high school, or those three 15-minute Mimbean sessions every single week. Yet, nonetheless, it has come to an end. But I want you to remember, this is just one ending to many chapters and many processes we are going to face. We think we've been living now, just wait till we really get out there. That's when our real process begins. This may look different for most, but most importantly, you can take on your process, and only you. If you haven't caught on yet, I'm talking about life. We will have to climb mountains and swim through the roughest rivers, but as long as you realize what a blessing it is, you will make it through. Your process makes you unique and gives you the one up on so many if you let it. So, give it the respect that it has gotten you to this point, to this moment in time that we are celebrating today. Again, let me reiterate, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this and tell you how easy it will be, because it won't. It will test your limits and break your barriers that you tried so hard to keep up, scared of what happens when they fall. New paths every day, sending you in different directions. New people coming and going, and some who left a lifetime. Things will happen, and you won't have a choice in some of those situations. So don't try to control your process, but control how you take on that process. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. These people surrounding us are here for a reason. They want to watch us succeed. Always remember, you are one in about eight billion. Respect your process, because trust me, you aren't even close to that ending yet. And as the modern day poet Post Malone said, congratulations.
Hello, Fairmont grads and parents and family members. My name is Holly Worsing. While some of you may know me, I'm gonna safely assume the majority of you don't. And that's okay. It's a big city and a very big school, something I had to discover all on my own. For grades K through eight, I attended the same school for all nine years. St. Charles Borromeo was home to me and the merely 40 others in my grade. I grew up with these kids, my friends. I was familiar with them. I knew them, and they knew me. I like to think we were a house made of Lincoln Logs. Each part was familiar, and I could recall placing each log down to build something of value. A homey feel built together with love. Each piece, each piece played its own part, interlaced with the others. It could fall apart easily, sure, but it'd be fairly manageable to put back together. We knew how to find each other and line ourselves back up in order. Yet, at the end of eighth grade, I made the decision to switch to Kettering Fairmont High School instead of following my older sister's footsteps to go to Alter. And it was the hardest thing I've ever done. To go from a class size of 40 to 600. To enter a building that had a quarter of a mile long hallway instead of the six or so classrooms I used to float between. It was horrifying, it was overwhelming. There were a few familiar faces, but for the most part, I knew no one and no one knew me. At the start, much like the great Pink Floyd once wrote, I was just another brick in the wall, indecipherable and indistinguishable from the 2,400 other kids around me. Through my eyes, everyone else was a brick as well, rough around the edges, unapproachable, separated by a layer of mortar, of indifference and unfamiliarity. Truth be told, this wall would not fall like the Lincoln Log House. It was sturdy and strong, yet daunting, built with a purpose, to stand tall. And so, in an effort to make the most out of the next four years, there was a crucial question in my mind. How do you make yourself stand out from a sea of others, to not be just another brick in the wall? Through trial and error, you find yourself. You have to pick yourself up every time that something doesn't go your way. You have to allow yourself to get to know others, to let them get to know you and let your guard down every now and then. In my high school years at Fairmont, I have searched for myself. When I didn't make the volleyball team my sophomore year, I gathered my pride and switched to cross country. When that wasn't a perfect fit, I found the field hockey team where I settled into my own spot on the defensive line. I joined the psychology club and the next year I became president. Slowly but surely, these events changed me and let me connect to others. To the volleyball team, my first group of friends at Fairmont. To the cross country team, who let me run and laugh with others in a time of COVID and isolation. To the field hockey team, who helped me gain confidence and belief in myself. To the psychology club officers, who taught me how to work in a group to shine as a leader. To all my teachers, classmates, my friends. To everyone I met and got to know and love. Thanks to you, I am kinder. I am more thoughtful and considerate. I found myself. As you remnants of your fond high school years, maybe you don't think you changed much at all. Maybe you're the complete opposite of how you walked in as a freshman. But what I implore you to think about is how your words and actions can change the others around you, just by being, letting yourself be open a little more and connecting to people, knowing them, loving them just like I did. As I look out at this crowd of graduates, I know one thing for certain, I'm not a brick in the wall, none of us are. I've made myself known and I was able to know so many people along the way. We are not invisible, indistinguishable, nor as one dimensional as a brick. We're a rock band full of supporting bass lines, killer vocals and shredding solos. We are a mosaic, a stained glass window, each piece unique and colorful, yet we fit together all the same. We're no brick wall, we're Kettering Fairmont through and through. In the future, you might find yourself in a wall full of bricks again. When that happens, turn off the dad rock, take a deep breath, and just stop turning everything into different overcomplicated metaphors. It's okay to rely on others. It's encouraged to give and receive love. To be loved is to be changed. Thank you. How about one more round of applause for our talented performers and speakers?
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tyler Alexander, and I'm the principal here at Fairmont High School. I would like to thank each of you for coming out tonight to celebrate the amazing accomplishments of the class of 2023. Before we get started recognizing this outstanding group of students, I would like to introduce some important people who have helped Kettering City Schools and Fairmont High School become one of the top performing school districts in high schools in the state of Ohio. First is our Board of Education, Mr. Toby Henderson, Mr. Mark Martin, Mr. Jim Ambrose, Mrs. Jennifer Kane, and Mrs. Chrissy Richards. Let's give them a round of applause. Our board office administrators, our superintendent, Mrs. Mindy McCarty-Stewart, our interim chief financial officer, Mr. Rick Taylor, our assistant superintendent of teaching and learning, Mr. Dan Von Handorf, our assistant superintendent of human capital, Mr. Ken Miller, director of business services, Mr. Jeff Johnson, our chief technology officer, Mr. Chris Merritt, and our coordinator of community relations and auxiliary services, Mrs. Carrie Basson. Let's give them a round of applause. Next, I would like to recognize the administration at Fairmont High School, our West Unit Principal, Ms. Jenny Britton, our Career Tech Principal, Mrs. Liz Jensen, East Unit Principal, Mr. Tim Johnson, South Unit Principal, Mr. Jeff Renshaw, our Central Unit Principal, Mr. Andy White, and our Athletic Director, Mr. Chris Weaver. Let's give them a round of applause. When you walked into the University of Dayton Arena this evening, you were greeted by numerous staff members from Fairmont High School. There were dozens more behind the scenes helping organize the students and even more making sure the career passports and diplomas are ready to distribute. Would all of our teachers, counselors, and advisory teachers please stand? The people standing right now are the people who make Fairmont High School what it is. They are the ones who are working with your students day in and day out to prepare them for whatever path they are taking after graduation. This is one of the most professional, dedicated, and caring groups of people that you will ever meet. I am honored to lead a building that has educators like this working with our students. Our advisory teachers who are seated on the floor wearing black gowns play one of the most important roles at Fairmont High School. These teachers have spent more than 170 hours with our graduates over the course of four years. They are the, one of the reasons we are able to take a large high school and make it feel a little bit smaller. Advisory teachers are the first adults students meet upon entering Fairmont and the person who will hand them their diplomas this evening. Let's all give a big round of applause for our teachers, counselors, and advisory teachers. Would all of our parents and guardians here tonight please stand? Parents and guardians, please stand. Students, you need to give them a round of applause. It is impossible to educate at a high level without the support of all of you. The staff and administration thank you for trusting us to help prepare your student to be successful in life after Fairmont. Students, I am sure there were times that you did not think that your parents were on your side. What you did not know was they knew your potential and were pushing you out of your comfort zone even when you felt they were overbearing parents because they were checking your grades, calling your teachers and principals, and making sure you had your homework done for the next day. Graduates, let's please again give your parents a round of applause. Over the course of the last seven years, the Kettering City Schools has developed and started implementing a strategic plan. This plan creates a consistent blueprint for success across the entire school district. 
One of the key features of the Kettering City School District strategic plan is the portrait of a graduate. The portrait consists of five different pillars, lifelong learner, critical thinker, thoughtful communicator, engaged collaborator, and global citizen. The accomplishments of this graduating class fit the pillars in many different ways, which I hope to highlight this evening. The first pillar is being a lifelong learner. A lifelong learner pursues goals and leverages resources with a reflective mindset, persevering and adapting to change as a lifelong learner and contributor. The students who I'm getting ready to recognize have spent the last four years at Fairmont mastering the skills to be lifelong learners. Fairmont's weighted GPA formula is one of the most unique formulas in the state of Ohio. It rewards students for not only taking high-level courses, but also rewards students for taking the maximum number of courses. The students I am getting ready to mention took honors courses, AP IB courses, did not take study halls, and never got anything lower than an A during their career at Fairmont. Ladies and gentlemen, the salutatorian for the class of 2023 with a GPA of 4.6027, Mr. Samuel Wade. Samuel, please stand. And the valedictorian for the class of 2023 with a weighted GPA of 4.66. Seven, Mr. Brady Turner. <laughs> Students, please stand if you earned a 3.5 or higher weighted or unweighted GPA for your career at Fairmont. Please stand if you earned a 3.5. Standing in front of you is approximately one-third. Please stay standing. We're, stand up. Standing in front of you is approximately one-third. One-third of the class of 2023. This is absolutely amazing. These students worked extremely hard for all four years of high school and challenged themselves to be at their best at all times. Over the course of four years, there can be bumps in the road, and these students kept a work ethic to overcome everything that was thrown at them. Congratulations to our academic scholars. You may be seated. Each year, the National Hispanic Scholar Program, run through the College Board, recognizes the nation's top Hispanic students. To be eligible for the recognition, students must score in the top 2% of all Hispanic PSAT test takers during their junior year and have at least a 3.5 grade point average. This year, there were approximately 5,000 out of 400,000 Hispanic PSAT test takers who were recognized as National Hispanic Scholars. The National Hispanic Scholar for the FHS Class of 2023 is Dominique Patron. The National Merit Scholarship Program is an academic competition for recognition and scholarships that began in 1955 by the College Board. High school students enter the National Merit Program by taking the PSAT during their junior year. The PSAT is a test which serves as an initial screener of approximately 1.5 million students each year. There are several levels of competition that a student may be recognized in based off of their scores. This year, there were 34,000 of nearly 1.5 million students across the nation who were named National Commended Scholars based on their PSAT scores. The National Merit Commended Scholars for the FHS Class of 2023 are Cody Falk and Ana Gonzalez. Of the 34,000 National Commended Scholars, the top 15,000 moved to the advanced standing of National Merit Finalists. The National Merit Finalist for the FHS Class of 2023 is Samuel Wade.
Students, would you please stand if you received some sort of scholarship for college or post-secondary education next year? Please stand if you received some sort of scholarship. The students standing in front of you have received scholarships. Stay standing, please. You're going to have plenty of time to sit, trust me. There are students standing in front of you who have received scholarships ranging from $250 to one scholarship totaling over $260,000. Owen Russell, please raise your hand. Where's Owen? Owen is right there. Owen has been awarded an appointment to the West Point Military Academy, which is worth just over $260,000. Would the following students please raise your hand? Deshaun Conley, Jaden Tangeman, Aubrey Madden, Rosita Green, Toby McElwee, and Layla Meters. These students were the recipients of the Kettering Rotary Strive Scholarship. These students were selected from a group of 49 students who were given the goal to raise their GPA over the course of their senior year and give back to the community. This group of, of students raised their GPA and took it upon themselves to, to being a lifelong learner at the forefront during their senior year. Congratulations to these students. And one more thing. Combined, the students standing in front of you have earned over $8.5 million in scholarship money towards post-secondary education. Congratulations, students. You may be seated. All of the students I just recognized have exemplified what it takes to be a lifelong learner. They have utilized the many resources available to them and persevered in order to reach their goals. And we knew they will continue to learn and make a positive impact in the future. The second pillar of Kettering's portrait of a graduate is being a critical thinker. A critical thinker probes the quality and interconnectedness of ideas and resources for problem solving, innovation, and to satisfy curiosity about a fascinating world. Nothing fits this more than the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program at Fairmont High School. IB's mission aims to develop inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people who help to create a better and more peaceful world through intercultural understanding and respect. Hundreds of our students take IB courses during their tenure at Fairmont, but only some decide to take on the daunting task of pursuing the IB diploma. The Assistant Dean of Admissions at Harvard University says, success in an IB program correlates well with success at Harvard. We are always pleased to see the credentials of the IB diploma program on the transcript. GPA is not nearly as important a factor in university admission as the IB diploma. If a student has to choose, choose the diploma over protecting the GPA. IB Diploma candidates, please stand as I call your name. Rond Al-Samari, Haley Heinrich, Riley Johnson, Olivia O'Dell, Brady Turner, and Samuel Wade. Let's give these students a round of applause. If you are a member of National Honor Society, please stand. National Honor Society is a national organization that recognizes some of the top students across the country. In total, the students standing in front of you completed over 900 hours of community service and 650 hours of tutoring. This is a total of just over 1,500 hours of volunteer service just by the students standing. To earn membership to NHS, students must show through an application process they have excelled in the four cornerstones of NHS, which are scholarship, service, character, and leadership. Each year, students are recognized as, re as a recipient of the Cornerstone Awards. In the class of 2023, the following students received the Cornerstone Awards. For scholarships, Kate Deach. For service, Bella Roberts. And for leadership, Logan Adams. Congratulations to our NHS students. 
students, you may be seated. What used to be one of the best kept secrets at Fairmont High School was our Career Tech Center. It is no longer a secret since nearly 50% of this graduating class was a part of a Career Tech program. Students, please stand if you were a part of a Career Tech program during your junior and senior year. The students standing earned nearly $1 million towards furthering their education. The following students received state, national, and or international awards in their career field. For Allied Health in the HOSA competition, Samuel Bales, third place state conference international qualifier. Yusef Hinawi, third place state conference international qualifier. Riley Hodgson, second place state conference two-time international qualifier. Kylie Laramore, first place state conference, two-time international qualifier and sixth place in the nation. Miranda Wiener, first place state conference and international qualifier for medical assisting in the HOSA competition. Madison Bell, second place state conference, international qualifier. Alexis Justice, second place state conference, international qualifier. Sierra Savage, second place state conference, international qualifier. For marketing in the DECA International Competition, James Spicer, fourth place state conference, two-time international qualifier. Annabelle Schoen, third place state conference, two-time international qualifier. Mallory McCall, third place state conference, two-time international qualifier. Kate Deach, third place state conference, two-time international qualifier and top 25 in the world. Isabel Bird, third place state conference, two-time international qualifier and ninth place in the world. For engineering in the NASA Hunch competition, Andrew Wright, national finalist. Let's give all of our CTC students a round of applause. <laughs> students, you may be seated. All three of these groups of students are able to think strategically and deeply in order to explore how ideas are connected. They are problem solvers and innovators, and their abilities to think critically have enabled them to excel during their high school careers and will continue to help them excel in their next stage of life. The third pillar of Kettering's portrait of a graduate is to be a thoughtful communicator. A thoughtful communicator employs active listening and purposeful verbal, nonverbal, and written expression of thoughts and ideas. Would all of our students that are a member of United Student Body please stand? We have some great leaders who have been wonderful role models for not only their fellow graduates, but also the underclassmen at Fairmont. Our United Student Body is a group of leaders who employ the skills tied to being a thoughtful communicator on a daily basis. They are my go-to group when discussing with students how to make Fairmont a better place. They take it on themselves to listen to our student body and organize events like Spirit Chain, Blood Drives, and the Thanksgiving Food Drive. Our USB students for the class of 2023 are Hope Schultz, President, Mallory McCall, Vice President, Cassidy Cordell, Secretary, Catherine Hill, Treasurer, Jenna Gifford, Social Activities, Mary Ayers, Communications, Annabelle Schoen, Special Projects, Chloe Monday, Service, Mackenzie Donaher, Elections, and Isabella Roberts, Outreach. These students are typically the first students to arrive at school in the morning and the last ones to leave in the evening. You see this group of students everywhere. They are dedicated learners in our building, and they have positively represented the name Fairmont Firebirds at the highest level. Let's give a round of applause to the United Student Body. We are blessed at Fairmont to have one of the best, if not the best, music program in the state of Ohio. Students, please stand if you are a part of band, orchestra, or choir at Fairmont.
Once again, the Kettering Music Department has been named one of the best communities for music education by the, by the National Association of Music Merchants for the 11th year in a row. There were 62 seniors in the band program this year. The Marching Firebirds earned straight superior ratings at OMEA State Marching Band Finals and had the highest score in school history at the BOA Regionals at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. There were 41 seniors in the orchestra program. Aaliyah Johnson was selected as a conducting apprentice with the Dayton Philharmonic Youth Orchestra and conducted the orchestra in a performance at the OMEA State Conference. In addition to Aaliyah, both Will Schneider and Samuel Wade were members of the Dayton Philharmonic Youth Orchestra. The choir program had 18 seniors this year, and all four curricular choirs qualified for the OMEA state competition, and all of them received a superior rating, the highest rating possible. To add to the awards, the Indoor Percussion Ensemble were crowned as WGI Regional Champions in sixth place in the nation at the WGI Championships, and the FHS Winter Guard were WGI finalists, and they finished 18th nationally. Let's give our talented musicians a round of applause. <laughs> Students, you may be seated. Another area of performing arts that Fairmont High School sets the tone for other high schools in our area in the, and in the state of Ohio is our theater department. Students, please stand if you are a member of the cast or crew for the fall play, an evening of one acts, winter play, William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, the spring musical, Legally Blonde, or the children's play, Taming of the Shoe. Please stand if you are in cast or crew of one of those shows. The winter play, A Midsummer Night's Dream, was chosen as an outstanding play by the Miami Valley High School Theater Association, and over 30 actors from the fall and winter plays in the spring musical will be recognized on June 6th at the Schuster Center. Eleven of our seniors have earned, due to the amount of work they have put into theater in high school, the distinction of International Honor Thespian, recognized by the Educational Theater Association. These students are Charlie Cute, Nadia German, Layla Meters, Bailey Mitchell, Jaden Peoples, Lakin Robillard, Mia Rodriguez, and William Schneider. Let's give all of our theater students a round of applause. You may be seated. Fairmont students have many avenues of becoming thoughtful communicators, whether listening to and leading their student body or expressing thoughts and ideas through language and music. Our USB music and theater students stand out as thoughtful and impactful communicators. The fourth pillar of the portrait of a graduate is to be an engaged collaborator. An engaged collaborator seeks and contributes feedback in varied perspectives on shared work for continuous improvement, enriching the learning and self of others. Athletics play a significant role at Fairmont High School. Even though some sports are more individual than others, ultimately these students put forth the hours and hours of training for the words Fairmont Firebirds across their chest. As I sat on the committee that developed the portrait of a graduate, most of our discussions around being an engaged collaborator were focused on how students can learn this skill in the classroom. As I continue to think about how we develop our students as a whole person, I always go back to how, our, how successful student athletes have to very much be engaged collaborators to be successful in what I believe to be the most competitive conference in the state of Ohio. Would all of our Firebird student athletes please stand? Ninety of the students standing are designated as a scholar-athlete, which means they maintained a 3.2 GPA and earned a varsity letter during their senior year. Each of these student-athletes is wearing a blue and silver honor cord in, re in recognition of their achievement. Student-athletes, please stand as I read off our athletic award winners for the class of 2023. 
First Team G-Walk, Drew Baker, football, Enoch Cruz, football, Dalton Gustweiler, football, Will Holt, football, Caden Partnick, football, Serena Baker, girls volleyball and basketball, Bryce Roberts, boys soccer, O'Malley Quinlan, girls soccer, Annabelle Schoen, girls soccer, Dylan Wooten, cross country, Tyler Gentili, boys golf, JJ Grooms, boys Boys Golf, Deshaun Conley, Comp Cheer, Jamison Roundtree, Boys Basketball, Furman Mirzaev, Wrestling, Aliyah Johnson, Diving, Logan Adams, Baseball, Grady Kokins, Boys Volleyball, Peyton Thompson, Boys Lacrosse, and Megan Sherrick, Girls Lacrosse. Our state qualifiers this year, Dylan Wooten in cross country, Furman Mirzaev in wrestling, Braden Gray, boys bowling, Branson Zaring, boys bowling, Natalie Benvenuto, girls bowling, Brianna Combs, girls bowling, Callahan Denny, girls bowling, Tommy Denny, girls bowling, and Maddie Maurer, girls bowling. I would be remiss not to mention the success of our boys and girls bowling teams. Both of these teams on back-to-back -back days finished as runners-up in the state of Ohio, at the State of Ohio Bowling Tournament this past winter. Congratulations to our bowlers and to our student athletes. You may be seated. The fifth and final pillar of the Kettering City School District's portrait of a graduate is for our students to leave us with the skills to be a global citizen. A global citizen relates and contributes to the local and world community through empathy, compassion, cultural fluency, and service. We take pride at Fairmont that we not only create an environment where students can practice being global citizens, but provide opportunities to pre to prepare them to make contributions to our school, community, and society. Not putting ourselves first and putting others in front of us can be difficult at times. At Fairmont, we stress the importance of taking care of others and sacrificing ourselves for the benefit of other people. If you were an organizer, donated, or participated in any way with Spirit Chain, a blood drive, or the Thanksgiving food drive, please stand. I will give you a hint, that will be a lot of you. If you organized, donated, or participated in Spirit Chain of Blood Drive or Thanksgiving Food Drive, please stand. This year, these students helped raise $116,064.54 to benefit three local charities. The charities for Spirit Chain this year were the Kettering Backpack Program, Gym City Diaper Bank, Crayons to Classrooms, and SIXA. Over the course of the last four years, these students have beaten Centerville every single year. by a lot, I might add, and most importantly, have raised over $380,000 for local charities. This year, the students at Fairmont High School donated enough blood to make our blood drive the largest blood drive in a 15-county radius. The students standing in front of you who are wearing red cords have donated blood at least three times over the last four years. This year was a record-setting year for our annual Thanksgiving food drive. This year alone, the students standing in front of you helped donate 7,000 food items to the Good Neighbors Food Pantry in Kettering. Students, you may be seated. Congratulations. One of the most dedicated sacrifices anyone can make is to enter our armed forces. At this time, would anyone in the audience please stand and remain standing if you are current or former military? The following students will follow in your footsteps and dedicate themselves to protect the freedoms we all have in the United States of America, which embodies what it means to be a global citizen. Students, please stand as I call your name. Tyler Adkins, Navy. James Alvarez, Marines. Eric Ball II, Marines. Joseph Carey, Jr., Navy. 
Christopher Chrysler, Marines, Dalton Jabelli, Navy, Ce uh, Cecil Glandon, Air Force, Ian Gonzalez, Army National Guard, Jackson Hunter, Air Force, Anthony Martinez, Air Force, Damian Meredith, Army, Aranzi Mugisha, Army, Prince Nazabakiza, Army, Casey Oakley, Air, Air National Guard, Joslyn Cordles, Air Force, Owen Russell, West Point Military Academy, Paul Watkins, Air Force Reserves, and Dylan Wooten, Marines. Let's give these students a round of applause. It is exciting for me to stand up here and recognize all of these great students for their accomplishments. I am so proud that these students not only excelled academically, but they excelled as thinkers, collaborators, learners, communicators, and most importantly, citizens. It gives me great pleasure to say, Mr. Martin and the Kettering City Schools Board of Education, each student in front of you has met the graduation requirements put forth by the Kettering City School District and the Ohio Department of Education. It is my pleasure to present to you the class of 2023 for awarding of diplomas. Wow, thank you, Mr. Alexander. <clears throat> Seniors, on behalf of the Board of Education, let me extend our congratulations to each of you for your success. Let me also extend congratulations to your parents, grandparents, guardians, friends, family, and all of those who played important roles in helping you get to this pivotal moment. We are excited about your future, what your future holds for each of you, and we look forward to all of, your one, all of the wonderful things you will accomplish and the positive impact you will have in our world. You will make us proud to be residents of Kettering and to be Firebirds, and it is our privilege to be members of your Board of Education. Without further ado, Mr. Alexander, after careful consideration, it is our honor to grant permission to award the senior class of 2023 their Kettering Fairmont diplomas. Seniors, congratulations again and a job well done. Ladies and gentlemen, these students in front of you have worked tirelessly for the last 13 years to hear their name called as they receive their diploma this evening. Many of these students have relatives who have traveled across the country to hear their students' name called tonight. If you yell and scream, then you are robbing students of the privilege of hearing their name called. The city of Kettering and the city of Moraine are a group of first-class people. Please give each student and each student's family the honor of hearing their name called tonight. Congratulations, graduates. Let's go. Jordan Michael Wayne Adams. Madison Adrian Adams, Jacob Owen Abol, Taha Khalid Aldalaki, Tyler Alexander Atkins, Rind Omar Alsamari, Adriana Noel Albaziz, Jose Angelo Munez Apiado, Jamal Iman Al Khatib, Liliana Jean Atha. Brock Matthew Allen, Aiden Julius Augustus, Skyla Michelle Allen, Nadine Olivia Ayers, so much for James Nadine Virgilio Alvarez, Cole Douglas Back, <clears throat> Isabella Ann Armbruster, Nadia Lilith Bailey, 
Mary Catherine Ayers. Andrew David Baker. Noah Shepard Badgley. Ryan Austin Baker. Audrey Grace Baker. Serena Taylor Baker. Christian Nathaniel Baker. Holden Robert Barlow. Kenzie Elise Baker. Gabriella Jewel Bachmoyer. Samuel Gray Bales. Rachel Ann Bottendistel. Lena Ain Barr. Nathan Gable Beam. Ashton Andrew Batori. Matthew Michael Beach. Madison Elizabeth Bell. Benjamin Berman Rubio. Natalie Inez Benevento. Caitlin Marina Blair. Callie Raquet Bowles. Estevan Antonio Blanco. Alexander Paul Boer. Shi Yi Chen. Kimberly Denise Bowling. Shi Yu Chen. Theo Kit Mavis. Luis Gustavo Cortez Heston. Cadence Sunshine Brassfield. Joseph Anthony Eugene Estes. Caleb Jonathan Bretz. Connor Joseph Ferries. Samuel Theodore Brewer. Elena Jade Finner. Robert Matthew Buchanan. Maxwell Thomas Fisher. Casey Lee Buckle. Mackenzie Drew Flanders. London Edward Bulger. David Lowell Floyd Jr. Aiden John Bunce. Nathan James Fogg. Kylie Maria Burns. Cheyenne Rose Ford. Kaylee Nicole Butts. Cole Hunter Frey. Isabel Bothwell Bird. Sarah Marie Freiberger. Dawson Edward Cahill. Emma Catherine Fur. Kamari Arianne Campbell. Andrew Paul Garland. Connor Allen Campbell. Tyler Michael Gentili. Grace Evelyn Carter. Nadia Ray German. Griffin Connor Carter. Ariana Rose Gibson. Lucas Hudson Casanova. Mackenzie Sarah Gilliland. Ava Elizabeth Casey. Grady Lucas Kokens. Delilah Magdalene Casey. Brennan Eugene Coleman. Micah Tree Chow. Jillian Elizabeth Collins. Alexander Jean Cheadle. Deshaun Logan Conley. Samantha Marie Clark. Cassidy Louise Cordell. Cody James Falk. Enoch Hamid Cruz. Jamie Victoria Fisher. Maya Nicole Coulter. Julian Michael Flores. Caden Andrew Dalton. Dylan J. Ford. Jonathan Lee Daniel Wicks. Hunter Gregory Ford. Cooper Allen Davis. Trinity Joanne Forthoffer. Rebecca Dawn Del Grosso. Maddox Christopher Frank. Jacob Frederick Denault. Amara Lydia Fulton. Tommy Lynn Denny. Caden Jose Gaffin. Jason Anthony DeRusso. Anna Grace Shanqing Galley. Samuel Dylan DeWald. Dalton Anthony Gabley. Catherine Eileen Deach. Jared Michael Geiger. Ricky Uhu. Ryan Donald Geiger. Mackenzie Noel Donaher. Haley Renee Dragesco. Jason Tanich Dragic. Janae Lee Gifford. Audrey Rose Egbert. Anthony James Gerardo. Jacob Ryan Emmons. 
Anna Alida Gonzalez. Cassandra Lee Bosron. Ian Lionel Gonzalez. Logan Michael Bowles. Tierra Claire Greggs. Katherine Alicia Brandt. Stormy Sky Collins. Tannis Ian Brock. Brianna May Combs. Joseph Robert Brooks. Jeremy Mizell Correaz Klimuko. Hannah Shireen Burkett. Charlie James Cute. Tristan Scott Burns. Regan, Reagan, Catherine Daly. Bradley Lynn Burry. Maya Elise Dameron. Hanalei Jade Bush. Colin Matthew Davis. Grace McKenzie Buscard. Michael Christian Day. Joshua Dale Bird. Zoe Hope Day. Benjamin Edward Calcutta. Callahan May Denny. Elise Marie Calcutta. Brianna Nevea DeWitt. <laughs> Joseph Jefferson Carey Jr. Samuel Scott Donnelly. Mary Elizabeth Carrier. Jessica Lynn Dudley. Zachary Jacob Carter. Gabriel Harper Duplachain. Faith Ann Chapman. Alana Braden Edwards Fisher. Otelia Lau Chester. Gwyneth Margaret Ellis. Christian Alexander Clark. Kylie Shaw Erdman. Victor Samuel Claude. Graham Henry Glovka. Wyatt Alexander Cochran. Zoe Adriana Gray. Beatrice Abia Bia. Audrey Meredith Green. Kelsey Leanne Ginter. Rosita Maria Green. Cecil James Glandon. Trevor Nathan Grogan. Tavlin Kate Glasgow. Jonathan Andrew Grooms. Braylon Ryder Gray. Alan Jeffrey Guernsey. Kate Scarlett Gray. Dalton James Gusweiler. Derek Andrew Groves. Espiro Sabu Hudson Hollaby. Marilyn Louise Grubb. Jelena Canise Hargrave. Sierra Fay Grubb. Hannah Jane Harmon. Hamsa Bader Hadi. Dana Davis Hasher. Warud Bader Hadi. Kamaran Renee Hatfield. Ahmad Mohammed Hamden. William Carl Hattery. Jocelyn Grace Harker. Joanna Lynn Hawkins. Kenton Robert Harleman. Allison Ray Hayes. Lily Marie Hera. Terrera Jasmine Hellman. Caitlin Brooke Hatcher. Logan Patrick Herman. Connor Riley Havig. Andrew David Hicks. M.D. Hazah. Catherine Marine Hill. Juliana Nicole Heindel. Mia Joe Hobbs. Haley Caden Heinrich. Riley Kathleen Hodson. Joseph Hennewey. Anthony Craig Homan Jr. Evan Thomas Henry. Garrett Stephen Howard. Brooklyn Renee Heinley. Sierra Elaine Howe. Grayson Matthew Holbrook. Caden Dominic Howard. William Bradley Holt. Sierra Nicole Hupke. Abbott Hotchkiss. Donovan Matthew Ennis. Jaden May Hughes. Michaela Faith Jackson. Tyler Martin Hulesman. Taj Deepak Jagu. 
Jackson Mason Hunter. Alshon Philippe Jet Mendonca. Mustafa Mahmoud Ibrahim. Asha Janae Johnson. Ava Naomi Jackson. Hannah Alidra Renee Johnson. Aliyah Marie Johnson. Alexandria Bridget Jordan. Riley Cole Johnson. Reese John Julian. Alexander Wilson Juan. Joseph Allen Carisha. Alexis Lynn Justice. Seth David K. Jack Kennedy Mihong Karolak. Antoine Devon King. Ian Matthew Kelly. Celia Caitlin Cock. Jack Thomas Kelly. Dylan Edward Krieger. Nicholas Scott Kelly. Kylie Marie Laramore. Alora Jean Kennison. Thomas Dean Lang. Abdul Aziz Mohanad Keshta. Preston David Levere. Addie Ray Kettlehake. Kayla Madison Lewis. Jack Ray Kettner. Catherine Olivia Liddy. Christian Scott Clawan. Emma Renee Litson. Brayden Hallett. Lizith Giovanna Leano Rodriguez. Benjamin Aiden Lammers. Alyssa Faith Long. Dominic Anthony Lander Bolas. Christian Matthew Lubera. Catherine Nicole Lawrence. Jesse Dylan Likens. William Mason Walter Long. Harper Ann Magis. Sydney Cherie Lorson. Ava Elizabeth Madrin. Colin Matthew Lowe. Alex Mariscal. Ty Jacob Lundgren. Aiden Christopher Marrero. Aubrey T. Renee Madden. Deanna John Landy. Brianna Kaylee Martin. Christian Michael McManaway. James Eugene Martin. Chloe Lynn Marie Melton. Leora Saray Martin. Damian Allen Warren Meredith. Penelope Shea Martin. Lydia Jane Morrison. Anthony Martin Martinez. Charles Herman Myers. Madison Carol Francis Maurer. Alec Michael Nall. Emma Lynn Mayhew. Alexander Michael Needles. Kristen Page Mays. An Twang Nog. Mallory Ann McCall. Lillian Carol Nickel. James McCowan. Kenton Michael Nielsen. Connor Elliot Nickert. Samuel Gray Nitz. Eric Daniel Ball. Lillian Jewel O'Brien. Dante Marie Stillard. Olive Nicole O'Dell. Jesse Andrew Dudrick. Cole Wendell Owens. Edward Ryan Folkerth. Griffin Cooper Perringer. Joseph Blaine Strickland. Caden Michael Partnick. Brandon James Wood. Madeline Rose Parton. Finya Loeschman. James Stephen White. Tantine Naimucho. Leah Jewel White. Nathaniel Thomas Roy. Sierra Bailey White. Lily Marie Ruckhouse. Noah Robert Wilkins. Bryce 
Lawrence Michael Malone Runyon. Malia Kamalani Williams. Owen Michael Russell. Alexander Joseph Winjet. Madison Cheyenne Salyers. Ethan Glenn Woods. Leah Elizabeth Schmidt. Madeline Cheyenne Whirl. Parker Christian Schneider. Andrew Michael Wright. Nicholas Joseph Schrand. Hayden Joseph Robel. Hope Elizabeth Schultz. Branson Jude Zering. Megan Marie Sherrick. Chenyan Zhu. Eli Michael Sherwood. Haley Elizabeth Newton. Annabelle Louise Schoen. Nathan Larkin Pennington. Jaden Michael Simmons. Jaden Wesley Allen Peoples. Cameron Lynn Skaggs. Madison Elise Pepo. Najee Scori. Gabriel DeSalas Pedera. Kelly Ann Slavinsky. Nevea Jean Perry. Caden Andrew Sloan. Cheyenne Aaliyah Phillips. Jonathan Dale Sloan. Kylie Page Pig. Riley Nicole Slider. Aiden Patrick Pennick. Colin Thomas Smith. Ethan Jeffrey Piper. Augustus Byron Green V. Trinity Page Porter. Rosalie Taylor Martin. Ian Robert Prendergast. Stephanie Christiana Sanchez. Catherine Ann Raymond. Matthew Alex Wilson. Peyton Blaine Redmond. Jerome Thomas McGraw. Carly Ruthann Reed. Ryan Lee McIntosh. Claire Jane Reichert. Leah McManus. Connor Scott Reinecke. Aaron Anthony Mead. Tyler William Rhodes. Layla Olivia Metters. Jacob Thomas Ross. Joseph Andrew Milestrup. Caden James Roundfield. Nathaniel James Merritt. Wesley William Tankersley. Nathan Robert Meyer. Naya Jade Ridgeway. Carly Grace Myers. Pascal Salama. Ella Mackenzie Middleton. Andrew Arkin Salim. Peyton Jean Minchu. Riley Michael Shannon. Furman Kamal Merzeva. Caleb Andrew Smiley. Bailey Madison Mitchell. Sydney A. Snowdy. Hannah Leanne Mobley. Michelle Marie Soto. Samantha Joan Moody. Kaylee Nicole Spears. Jalen Ray Moore. Maggie Rose Sprague. Madison Lillian Morrison. Mackenzie June Staten. Greg Vasquez. Cadence Marie Stevenson. Princess Nykuringa. <laughs> Alexander Christian Tackett. Christopher Olegschlager. Macy Lynn Thomas. Baraha Hisham Yagub Osman. Natalie Elizabeth Witted. Samuel William Plackey. Brady Stephen Turner. Mattis Gabriel Polson. Victoire Omutoni. <laughs> Wyatt Elgin Winfield Presley. Gente Owase. 
Gus Ellsworth Perky. Lily Marie Grace Vest. O'Malley Anna Quinlan. Madeline Christine Vickers. Sophia Grant Rauchi. Keegan Faye Voki. Rebecca Ann Resch. Samuel Teal Wade. Logan Alexander Richardson. Ashlyn Elizabeth Walters. Samuel Ramon Rivas. Jada Renee Warren. Ella Jean Roberts. Sarah Elizabeth Warren. Isabella Rose Roberts. Asaya Ariana Watkins. Jackson Henry Rohrer. Madison Rose Watkins. Gabriel Michael Rausch. Paul Franklin Watkins. Alan Toby. Miranda Joe Weiner. Rebecca Marie Morelli. Gwendolyn Giselle Wetz. Cora Lena Vannersdahl. Haley Renee Whitehead. Sophia Marie Von Richter. Jocelyn Sophia Quarles. Dylan Lee Voiles. Bryson James Roberts. Creedon Kai Warner. Lakin James Robillard. Samuel Allen Ross Warnock. Haley Judith Ann Rodriguez. Damian Allen Webb. Mia Annalisa Rodriguez. Jacob Howard Weir. Jameson Allen Roundtree. <laughs> Catherine Patricia Weir. Natalie Eliana Rozier. Faith Rose White. Caitlin Ray Ruark. Nolan Scott Vincent Whitener. Isabel Jean Rutledge. Caitlin Danielle Wurzba. Haley Ella Ryan. Holly Faye Worsing. Logan Scott Sargent. Ian Pierce Wisneski. Sierra Rose Savage. Mackenzie Kathleen Wolf Isbel. Evelyn Byers Scarborough. Dylan Thomas Wooten. Audrey Jean Schlenk. Isabel Grace Morrow. William Ray Schneider. Kara Elizabeth Mueller. Braden Michael Scott. Aranzi Mugisha. Benjamin David Siever. Chloe Christine Mundy. Kelsey Lauren Adams. Dylan Reeve Napier. Sammy Jabir Elsa. Kihiro Dakis. Aiden James Best. Josue Negrete. Madison Nicole Black. Braden John Knopfsinger. Brendan Michael Buckingham. Prince Zabakiza. <laughs> Megan Cheyenne Birchfield. Casey Edward Oakley. Hannah Michelle Cantor. Savannah Grace Oakley. Daniel James Chadwell. Owen Thomas Olson. Sir Jan Chetri. Andrew Robert Pant. Christopher David Chrysler. Makai William Von Parker. Mariah Lynn Emmons. Maria Parker. Jackson Tyler Payne. Chloe Malia Perrys. Haley Sue Philbrin. Dominique Noel Patron. Gabriel Evan Lee Grimm. Jaslyn Rose Petrick. Hader Khalid Rustam. Jasmine Nicole Marie Phillips. 
Brian Jeffrey Hamilton. Michaela Christina Price. <laughs> Abigail Marie Hardin. <laughs> Jennifer Lynn Sparks. Elise Norma Jean Harris. James Nicholas Spicer. <laughs> Malia Monet Hernandez. Caitlin Michelle Sturgill. Carl Anthony Hoffman. Jaden Anne Marie Tangeman. Brianna Marie Kathleen Johnson. Tasha Marie Taylor. Kylan Thomas Lapp. Peyton Lee Thompson. Alyssa Ann Lemley. Martine Tatum Tramontana. Jack Davis McCoy. Amber Nicole Turner. Skylar Nicole Waters. Grace Elizabeth Turner. Brighton William Levi Miller. Hunter Michael Upton. Bradley Austin Morton. Alexander Brandon Van Houten. Jonathan Tyler Mama. Emma Jane Van Nest. Thomas Michael Parks. Parks. Ellen Rosa. Austin James Patrick. Jonathan Michael Wells Ruiz. Olivia Grace Pope. Emily Elizabeth Cotter. Jeffrey Calvin Porter. Kaylee Brooke Kelly. Kelsey Karen Marie Puslat. Lucas Austin Tucker. Jocelyn Deborah Michelle Felker. Logan William Adams. Cheyenne Renee Reedy. Lane William Coulter. Kayla Cheyenne Richmond. Carter Lee Decker. Anthony Bradley Tangerman. Canton James Denny. Riley Becca Snell. Tyler Mason Gade. <laughs> Abigail Ayla May Sturgill. Colin James Zent. Riley Scott Swank. Kirsten Colleen Taylor. Peter Nicholas Truex. Zachary Madison Tuttle. There you go, buddy. Good job. Hold on. We just try. Go to the end. You last. Go last, last, last. Christiana Rochelle Valentine. Holly Nicole Wagner. Congratulations. Good job. Destiny Chantel Wallace. <laughs> Sophia Renee Waters. Good job. Jamel Deshaun Williams Jr. Jamel, congrats, buddy. Good job. Patience Renee Wilson. Kai Lavelle Stevens. There you go, Kai. Good evening, family, friends, faculty, staff, and last but not least, my fellow class of 2023 graduates. My name is Hope Schultz, and I have had the honor of serving as this year's United Student Body President. And now I have the privilege of saying a few words to you all before we turn our tassels and take our class selfie. Before I begin, though, I would like to take a moment 
to thank the teachers that shaped us, the families that raised us, and the friends that stuck with us through it all. Class of 2023, we finally made it. Of course, not without the help of Quizlet, Socratic, and maybe a little photo math here and there, but we made it and are about to be official graduates of Fairmont High School. But not so long ago, especially for our parents, we were little freshman firebirds ready to begin the next four years of our lives at Fairmont. We walked through those doors for the first time at Fairmont 101, apprehensive of what was to come and unsure of who we were meant to be. Over the past four years, high school has taught us valuable lessons both in and outside of the classroom that we will always remember. It has helped shape who we are, who we want to be, and what we believe in. This moment, though, marks the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. Come next August, we will not be walking the halls of Fairmont High School like we have for the past four years. We won't see our friends every day, be able to say hi to our favorite teachers, or get reprimanded by Mr. White to get to class during class change. The inevitable end of high school is here, but as sad as it is, it is also exciting because one door is closing, but another is opening. A new adventure awaits us, whether that be heading off to college, going to a trade school, joining the military, or entering the workforce. As we take on this exciting, although scary, new chapter in our lives, don't forget that being a, the things that being a firebird has taught us. I would like to end this speech by leaving you all with a quote from a book that most of you probably read as a child. Oh, the places you'll go. It says, you're off to great places, today is your day, your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Fairmont class of 2023, we are all off to great places, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. At this time, please stand and sing the Fairmont alma mater located in your program. Now, it is the moment we have all been waiting for. On the count of three, we will turn our tassels from the right to the left, making us official graduates of Fairmont High School and signifying the beginning of the next stage of our lives. One, two, three. Congratulations, everyone. Now, as per tradition, it is time to take our first selfie as the newest Fairmont alumni. So smile, everyone. <laughs> Okay. 
Ready for real now. didn't take, sorry. One more time, guys. <laughs> sorry. Take it out, I promise. Okay, good for real. Congrats, everyone, and go Birds!